Hey guys, just got back from riding with Janskok. He came all the way from Finland to ride. He had a Yamaha Sidewinder. Look it was a engine. wicked day. You guys are not gonna wanna miss this. Let's get into so the episode. So what are we gonna do here? 100 times better. <laughs> So this is a sidewinder, four-stroke sidewinder. Yeah. Holy smokes. We are going to three. Jan Zanskak. Zanskak. Yeah. From Finland. So yeah, we got Jesse Zanskak. Zanskak. I'm going to remember that today. I'm going to butcher it a couple of times. Okay, so we're going to go across the lake. <laughs> it looks a little sketchy. I know that there is ice, but just seeing those tracks kind of sketched me out. <laughs> so first time riding with someone from Finland and first time riding with somebody with a Yamaha Sidewinder. So Janska came over about a week ago. He rode up north a bit. Now he's in Blue River. He bought that Yamaha when he got here. <laughs> All the snow lines right there. Everybody was worried it was going to be too warm, but I think it'll be really good. So I finally got my exhaust sensor fixed. So we'll see how it's running now. I brought it into RTR in the morning there. They had it done in like four hours. And they actually had to rob another part off another sled because I had some issues with my pipe they had to replace. So thanks to Dave and Jake to getting that done right away. That was awesome. Holy. Look at the intake on that. So I just got these Olins on my sled put them on last night and already I the adjustability is freaking amazing on them I've been playing with it on the trail they're just so smooth let's just go up here and take a look this snow is really good No. Hey, he can ride. I can notice a big difference now that that exhaust sensor is fixed. I was getting 81, but it would just fluctuate. And now, it's constant. Like it's pulling way harder. We'll go back that way and meet Jesse. Oh, it looks like Jesse needs a hand there. Nice. Jan Skak. I'm butchering the name constantly, but. He's a good rider. The Finland Ripper. Nice snow. <laughs> How is this snow compared to Finland? Hundred times better. <laughs> Fuck. We haven't even watched the good spot yet. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be impressed today. We That's have awesome. Only about one meter maximum. Oh really? Uh, one meter one max? One twenty. 
Wow. Just following Jesse. Jan's behind me. I'm gonna call him Jan for short. Jan's cock. <laughs> and so yeah, we just came from up there and we're gonna cut over and drop down. And we have a zone in mind that we're gonna head into. Oh, these are cool. Yamaha's turbo from a long ways away. We're looking for Jesse here. Boy, do you copy? I'm just getting helping Jesse get unstuck here. I know where you are about, but I'm stuck too. Okay, I'll come back and give you a hand. Yeah, I just got Jesse out there. I will say. These Olins are absolutely amazing, and I'm not just saying that. So much more predictable with this ski doo chassis. Is maybe just up here somewhere, he said he was stuck, so. Give him a hand. Okay, last video, yes, it looked like Tyler was a lot quicker. And I will tell you why. It's because of my exhaust sensor. This sled is running so much better. I knew it didn't have quite the jam. It felt a bit off, but I didn't realize now that I've rode it that long that how off it actually was. Found Yam Skuck, and we are gonna head I'm trying to follow Jesse here. There he is. Okay. Our tour guide Jesse today. Yeah, he was saying that thing doesn't have quite as much power as uh, his other sled. Yeah, he rips. Well, a lot of open water in there. Okay, so we're just working our way from over there and we're working across and we're gonna keep pushing till we find some fresh. Okay, so we're gonna try to get up to the top from here. Oh yeah, boys are behind me.
Okay, so we gotta keep going up here. This looks really steep. <laughs> So it just came up from pretty much straight down there. Goal is to go over there and we're gonna drop down a drainage. That did not look like that. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, probing it? How much snow? No, 240. 240, 240 centimeters. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay, found Yonzok, and we're just looking for Jesse here. Jesse lost his radio <laughs> in the snow, so we can't get a hold of him. What's that? Did you find Jesse? You can follow my tracks. I went quite a ways to the left. Okay, I come down now. Okay, I think these are Jesse's tracks, so. Oh, there he is. Here. You can use them, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just they they those shouldn't fog up. Those should be good. Those climb goggles looking pretty good on you. Found Jesse. Try to get the boys up to the top here. more power it's not so intermittent now that that exhaust sensors fixed like it is absolutely night and day Jan's with me there so we're just gonna drop down here into this chute he's got about 25% fuel so I'm just gonna we're just gonna drop into this chute and then play for a little bit and get out it's gonna be really good in here oh yeah here we go so i want to get him out of here before we run out of fuel he does have fuel back there but i just figured we could do a little bit of playing here first <laughs> this would be a good pull out of here oh the skiers came down through here <laughs> it was like a really nice ski run we got it, we're gonna go up and out. Up. We'll try to climb it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try to get out of here. I was in here with the 600s. You guys probably re recognize this chute. pull out <laughs> yeah, no traction, I know.
So we just had to roll it and a lot of oil. Four strokes don't like to be rolled. Things puffing really black. We just had to roll it there, so. Oh, the belt exploded. Ooh. It's all blown belt, eh? Well, that went boom fast, eh? Yeah. You knew right away. <laughs> oh, that popped out, eh? Oh, it's empty. Yeah, I have more. Oh, okay. I'm prepared. You're prepared. Why does it leak? Because the belt hit so hard and popped it off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got we got nothing in there. <laughs> Do you have seen anybody driving four stroke in here? No, never. I'm only one. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> got coolant. You got everything, hey? <laughs> prepared for everything. I'm prepared. Yeah, you have everything, hey? Yeah. I took every part from Finland. <laughs> Braces, tunnel braces. Everything. Holy. Blood you, trollers, blood skit, you were helixes, everything. Holy smokes. You were prepared to wrench just in case this thing broke down, hey? Yeah. <laughs> because already over 6,000 kilometers. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. Well, yeah. So we got the belt on, and you're just going to run around on the bottom here just to get the belt worked in. And it was pretty wet, so just didn't want it to slip when we pull all the way out through here. We good? Okay. Okay, we're gonna pull out of here. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Okay, we gotta find Jesse here. There he is. Found him. <laughs> I just made it up. Over there is all steep and shit. You guys just pulled up. What what's for lunch, Jesse? Well, I have a jalapeno cheddar bagel with chicken, summer sausage. Let's take a look at that. Some sort of cheese. All right. How long did you cook that for? I don't know. Ten minutes each side. Oh, oh that's almost to perfection then. Start oh, it's a little burnt. It's there, a little burnt right? there. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that oh. looks good. What we have today is peanut yeah. butter and jam and sourdough bread. And I actually put a hand warmer yeah, in between the peanut butter and the jam just yeah. to keep the peanut butter warm so I could actually spread it on the bread. I had to tape this up really good because I didn't want to have an episode in my bag. Heated the, heated the sourdough bread. Oh, this is so good. Just waiting for a yawn, suck. And then we're gonna drop back down to where we were. Woohoo! Okay, there's Jesse. So we came down that chute, we're just gonna work our way up. Comes Jess. <laughs> you gotta get up there a little bit differently with that 600. Janzak wants to try uh, Jesse's 600 catalyst, so. And Jesse's got the sidewinder, so. We're doing a little bit of sled swapping today. Dude, this is gonna be sick. <laughs> I'll, get up there, I'll film ya. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's 600 life right there. What happened? <laughs> oh, no. I just turned my camera off. We got two stucks here, boys. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe how heavy this thing is. <laughs> uh, oh, this is not good. Is that supposed to be like that? It's normal. Okay. And the right side, left side is good. Oh, okay. Dude, this thing's crazy. I was up there. You just turn uphill. <laughs> that thing just sounds so cool. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we got stuck. We got stuck. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse, you're just used to the Yamaha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Landon's park job challenge. Stand right there. I'll take a picture. Way further than I was expecting. Jesse, you got a little bit of a walk down there. So what are we gonna do here? So he's pretty much out of fuel. We have to, he's got to go down a flak around so we can start it. So I wonder if we can get it to just down there. Can you, can you press that suspense thing? Oh, okay. Okay. Like once it's going, is it, can it just stay going? Yeah. Let's wait. <laughs> Never seen anything like that, eh? No. So it just needs to be perfectly level, a little bit raised, so we, so the fuel line can can get fuel through. If it's tilted down a bit, it just won't start. Wouldn't mind filming a little something over here. Could we get it spun around and go right there? Yeah, let's just go up to that top bench and then we can play a little bit. Low fuel. Oh, low fuel. Yeah. We're up there. Yeah, let's go up there and park it. Yeah. <laughs> Flirt. We're flirting with danger. <laughs> Sorry, Jesse. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> that was a good pull. I bet he is. Oh! Janzak, what do you got here? A uh, bread with scrambled eggs. Bread with scrambled eggs. Yeah. Look at that. Only that. That's how you perform that good, hey? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just played on that hill. <laughs> we did a few bow ties and hop overs there. <laughs> okay, me and Jesse are gonna go down. Well, Janzak is just finishing lunch there. He's completely 
well not completely out of fuel but he's almost out of fuel so we're just gonna get him straight out we're not gonna do any playing and we're gonna go straight for the fuel <laughs> but I want to go down here with Jesse and just check it out oh yeah what is this oh it's from the skiers oh yeah they skied right through there that's a good line I didn't see that. <laughs> that caught me off guard. I was just like, do 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 do, looking at this, and I was like, oh, that looks like an avalanche chute. <laughs> caught the edge and just rolled right off my sled. <laughs> I heard Yanzak on the radio. <laughs> He's like, are you guys alive? <laughs> Okay, there he is. Okay, we are going to get out of here and go get some fuel. Let's get out of here, eh? Okay, we're headed out. Just going to pull out of this little chute here. Wow, we did a number in here. <laughs> I just noticed that I have one bar of fuel. And I didn't really notice till now. So between me and Yanzak, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> okay, here we go. We gotta get up and through there and get out. Put a little track in for Jesse. Okay, here we go. I didn't make it. Okay. Okay, one more try for the 600. I guess Yamzak's not used to wearing goggles. He says he doesn't really need to in Finland just because they don't really have snow that comes over over the hood into the eyes. So he's got to kind of learn how to use goggles and not get them fogged up, he was saying. Okay, found the main trail. Both the boys are behind me and we're going to make her out. Well, we made her to the fuel drop. We made it. Made it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're all fueled up and headed back down. Hope you guys like this one, and I'll see you guys on the next one.